We've all had that one player in FIFA that we hate to play against, whether it be Chris Smalling from FIFA 17 or Jack Butland from FIFA 17. This FIFA though, there are more than ever. I'm gonna go through position by position to see which player is the most hated. Let me know if you agree with this in the comments down below and who is your most hated player in all of FIFA 20. So without further ado, let's get the players selected and it is a very, very elite tier list of players who I think you guys are going to hate to see because you probably come up against them all the time like I do in foot draft, foot champions, in rivals. They are really detested. So goalkeeper is definitely to Stegen. He is a goalkeeper that is like going up against a 97 rated icon who is still somehow overpowered. He feels so much better than the 90 rated keeper in this game. It's ridiculous that he's only about 46k. Should be much more than that in my opinion but still it's the market so it is what it is but this guy is so hated in FIFA. It was a tough choice though because you could also go with Areola. And yes, I did see all of the comments on the big player review we did on him in the Foot Champions highlight of the week. And you guys are like, Matt, please don't talk about this guy anymore. People should not know about this card. He's really good. Ariola would be on this list if it wasn't for Destegen, guys. I've got to go for Destegen. I know how much you guys hate playing against him. He is incredible. Moving on, might be a surprise, but if you guys remember the launch of FIFA 20, and even now... If you come up against the centre-back, you will know what I mean. We're going to go with Joe Gomez and specifically his road to the final card. This card is going to be upgraded soon, I believe. And because his SBC, I don't think, was the most priciest, it goes to show how much he is detested in Ultimate Team because how good he is. He has that body type in FIFA where it's hard to get past. And being six foot two as well... And I mean, come on, look, it's all about the pace, isn't it? He's got that great 6 for 2 high, 85 pace, 84 defending. He's going to get better, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm going to go Gomez. Could also choose his starter card as well, because that starter card was fantastic at the beginning of this game. Now we're going to go to another very elite tier centre-back. And for me, is honestly one of the best centre-backs I've used. It is Lengley. And he was like... 90k for the longest time if you invested in this card then you might have made the worst decision possible he's got six foot one height great pace 86 defending four star weak foot there is literally nothing wrong with this card he's even quite agile there for center back 90 defensive awareness absolutely magnificent he will be the center back of choice now we're going on to the next player guys who is again just too good and ridiculous to get past. Seriously fantastic. And he is a really cheap centre-back. I would advise you guys to get as well. It's Ed Militao. I mean, this can't be a surprise. He also does have, I believe, was it an SBC version? I'm not too sure, but still, that version's amazing. But I'm going to go with this version because I see him even now all the time in Ultimate Team. Really, really good centre-back. 88 stamina there. Great jumping. He again is six foot one. High defensive work rate, just fantastic centre-back and by far one of the most hated players in the game. Now, we're going to move on to maybe the most hated centre-mid in all of FIFA 20. I think it is maybe as well the joint most hated player in all of the game that we all play, even if we don't like FIFA, guys. FIFA might be one of those games that you could still hate the game, yet we all still play it. It's one of those things, isn't it? So we're going to go to Spurs, centre mid, and we've gone with Sissoko. The amount of times I see pro players saying this guy is actually better than some icons in this game, I have come up against him so often, and he is so strong in-game. That physical is no joke. Like, 91 stamina, 90 strength, 85 aggression. He is incredible. And if he gets any kind of, you know, different special card then he will be unstoppable. I think he's got a footmas version, but any player above that version, any rating above that card would be ridiculous, right? So 81 Sissoko is 
the man of choice right there. Now, we are about to choose, I think, the maybe most hated player in this game. I think this could be the most hated player in FIFA 20, guys. I'm calling it. He is my most hated player. However, I love the guy in real life. I would like us to sign him because he's honestly so hard to stop. I'm going to give you three seconds to try and guess who I'm going to choose. Three, two, one. And it's going to be... Hold on. It's not come up yet. It'll be here soon. It's not here yet. Where are we? There we go. Adama Traore. I think he might even be more hated in this game than Sissoko because look at the pace give him a good chemistry style he can get near to 90 finishing I mean his crossing is great his curves great dribbling 95 agility solid sprint speed both 99 acceleration I mean this card is fabulous he's got 91 strength there is literally nothing wrong with this card and the reason why he's even more hated is because when you play down the wings in this game, you can do some really overpowered, like, kind of skill moves, you know, get it down the wings. It makes it very easy to score goals, ping it in, your striker's going to get it. On the end of it, there's so many overpowered tactics you can use down the wing, and that's why he's hated in this game. So, Adama Traore is the right mid. So, back to centre mid, and staying in the Premier League, maybe that's surprising. We're going to be going with N'Golo Kante. Uh, this can't be surprised. Most, I guess, Gold 1 or Elite players now have Kante in their team. I've got him on the road to glory. You guys might use him a lot in your team. And he is honestly really hated by a lot of players in the world of FIFA because he's absolutely brilliant. Even though he's, what, five foot six, he is so agile and just manages to always break a good attack up. And that's why... Him and Tosoko in the same team are going to be a nightmare. Yes, guys, we're actually going to use this team in a game. We're going to see how we do with the most hated players. Will we get a message after the game? I don't know. We might do. Anyway, left mid. We're not going to go to the Premier League, although Mane is up there and so is Sane in terms of most hated players. This guy might be the best player in the game, and that's why I've got to go with him. He is ridiculous. He scores goals like no other player can do. It's Neymar. He is so fantastic in this game it's just unreal he is so great i mean he really is the perfect left mid or left winger or left forward or even cam or striker he is insane and so hard to stop neymar cannot be a surprise to you guys now back to the right side of the team we're going with dembele i love this card and i also hate this card because he is amazing he, he is so much better than Hulk, for starters. Like, this guy feels like he's an 88, 89 rated player in game. Again, it's one of those cards that you look at the stats and, like, they're not the most incredible stats. But in game, it's the pace. His finishing is incredible in, in this game. Five-star weak foot, five-star skill moves. Had to go with Dembele in this team. Left forward, though, might be a surprise. But if you ever did this Ryan Kent SBC... Or ever come up against him, then you know what I mean. So I haven't used him yet, but I've heard amazing things. It's the fact that he's got 97 pace, 4-star skill moves, 5-star weak foot, high work rate. I mean, 99 agility is going to be devastating. I haven't used this card yet. However, the amount of tweets I've seen about Ryan Kent and just in general, people hating on this card because it's too good. Like, 82 rating. And he's got those stats. Like, that is actually incredible. So, final player. It can be any version of the card. And I'm going to go with the latest version. And, again, you might not be surprised at this. But we're going to go with Ben Yedder. This guy is literally an icon. His stats are outrageous. 95 finishing. Agility is unbelievably good, which is a great stat to have in this game. 90 dribbling, jumping is good as well, volleys 90, his pace is amazing, like there is absolutely nothing wrong with this card other than maybe the fact that he's got 5 for 7 height but he makes up for it with all those amazing stats, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, this card is unstoppable and complete for me the most hated players in all of FIFA 20, Adama Traore for me is the number one but Ryan Kent I can now see why he is hated in this game. Probably a lovely guy, but still not liked in FIFA. 
when you play against him. All of these players, guys, I can't lie, I'm proud of this team. I think we might have nailed this. If I've missed anyone, let me know in the comments. Some quick shout outs though, to some players around FIFA. So, Newcastle United, Defo gonna go with Sir Maximin, who's a big fan of the channel, so it's all awesome to see. He goes there. We also have the player by the name of Jamie Vardy. And the reason why he is hated is because he's only, what, 20k to complete. And he's got nice stats. So, yeah, I'll definitely have him in there. In terms of, like, other leagues, obviously Mbappe's up there. But I kind of do like going to those overpowered players. So, I'm thinking probably, to be fair, there's a great player from Bayern that I'm hoping I've got here. I have, I think I've got him somewhere, hopefully. I haven't got him. Hernandez could be up there, defo, but there's one guy I think is really not liked in this game, and it's going to be actually Goretzka, can do everything, really, really hard to stop in, um, in attack and in defense as well, really, really good card, and yeah, I'm definitely going to have him there as well. Other players that definitely deserve a quick shout out, so... One that I think is seriously hard to stop is Bernardo Silva. He is incredible in this game. After Bernardo Silva, let's have a look. Which of this? Which are like ridiculous special cards have I got that might be really hated? Let's see. Nabry is good, but not quite on that level. Delaney has a great card there. You know that's a really cool card. You know what? People have been saying Milner a lot. I'm going to put Milner in there. You guys have been saying that a lot. So, there are the most hated players for me, guys, in FIFA. Let me know if I've missed any. And now, it's time for a game of FIFA with this team. Well, time to take the most hated players into a game. And this guy knows some hated players as well because he's got Sissoko, Dembele. Oh, you know what? Mendy would be a shout. That's actually a really good player to have in my team as well. And Ben Yedder. Yeah, he knows what to do in this game. Yeah, that's why Sissoko is clearly hated in this game. <laughs> he just gets everything. Let's just give it to Ben Yadda. I thought he scored that. What the hell? That's, that's a save. Damn. Just Hagen is too good. Oh my God, Ryan Kent. Bloody hell, he's so fast. He is so fast. Yeah. If you take too long, Leng Lei is going to be there. Just Hagen, guys. Like, if you make a mistake, he's going to be there. <laughs> That's why he's hated. Well, that is a really, really crazy fun goal. I love that finish. Ryan Ken is sensational. I now see why no one likes someone coming up against him. So fast. Oh my God, Sissoko is seriously like an icon. And so is every other player of my team. Jesus. Guys, this team might legit be amazing to use them for champions. I'm not even joking. Can I please use this in my road to glory? Like, this guy cannot get past Sissoko. Guys, Sissoko is so good. What the hell? I'm telling you guys, Sissoko is unreal. Losing count how often to stay going to save me in this game, by the way. That guy was a really good player and we did well to win. That was a great win. To Stegen was unbelievable. Sissoko was the best player on the pitch. I should have scored so many more Ben Yedda. Look at that save, by the way. But still, Great fun to use this team. Well, we're in Division 2 now after that win, and this guy's got Timo Werner. He's got a few storyline plays, so he obviously plays the game a lot. He's also got a few nice Bundesliga centre-backs. It's a pretty interesting team. Got the Golden Goat badge, guys. You know he takes FIFA seriously. Why does he just rage quit 0-0? Is he really that scared of 
my whole team. Next game, and he's got the likes of Dybala, Allen, storyline cards, and a very full Sarri, Sarri, Serie A team, which is going to be hard to play against. Not defending, guys. That's why he's hated in this game. Let's go. Go and give it to Ryan Kent, who is so rapid, it's almost unfair. And again, and again. And again, what a goal. Is he going to rage quit already? He's rage quit. <laughs> oh my God. Sissoko, 1-0. That's how you get a win, guys, in Division Rivals. In Division 2 as well. What? People really don't like these players, guys. Can I just say that? They do not like these players at all. Unbelievable. This team is nuts to use. Because you've got a player like Ben Yedder, who is just great at holding the ball up. You've got a player like Sissoko, who is all-round stunning. And what a shot he's got with the Hunter chemistry style, by the way. He's only got 70 finishing, yet scored... How many goals he scored? Was it three? Four in two. Okay, this team is crazy. Leave a like if I should use this in for champions. Who is the most hated player, though, in all of FIFA 20? 